we are going to talk about the CCPA, the new law that is passed in California protecting consumers' privacy uh, or their data. Um, and I'm really, really excited about this law. Um, it is taking effect in January 1st, 2020, and will be an author, um, enforced, not authorized, enforced starting July 1st, 2020. Um, so for the very first time in the US, um, consumers like myself or you will have the ability to request from a company in California, if the company's headquartered in California, um, if they, you know, take your personal information, if they're selling it to another company, um, you can ask them what information they have on you. Um, it just gives the power back to the consumer and then you understand what's happening with your data. Now there are um, a few uh, limitations to this new law as well. Um, so right now it's just in the state of California if the company is in California and also if the company um, makes more than $25 million in annual revenue per year. Um, and then if they, if a company is in violation, like say they uh, collect your personal information and sell it to a bunch of companies and don't let you know, don't, don't notify you. Um, so for example, um, like Facebook is headquartered there. If this happens and they don't notify you, then they have 30 days to comply before fines are enforced and given. Um, there's also too a lot of gray areas still around this um, law and I think those will be figured out as it goes into effect um, and more and more states will take a look at this and then hopefully eventually on a federal level uh, go nationwide. But the really cool thing is that California is, is huge. They're usually the first state to kind of um, put a law into effect and then others just take note of what they're doing and, and then they follow suit as well. But um, California has the largest technology companies so a lot of companies like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat that do have your data, um, this will all um, uh, comply to them as well. So really excited to um, see how this um, plays out here in the US. I know over in Europe they have the GDRP um, which is just an act in, in Europe that uh, is the same thing. It just protects uh, the consumer and companies cannot sell your data and if they do they have to notify you as well. Um, and they've had that for a while now. So finally here in the US we're trying to catch up and um, yeah I just I think that's that's awesome. Uh, also too another thing to note that if um, the company has over 50,000 um, uh, like names or like points of data within their database. This also applies to them as well. So if you have a blog, if there's one person that's blogging out of their house in California and they receive, um, you know, 10,000 um, impressions or 10,000 visitors per month, you know, this law will also apply to them too. So they can no longer just go sell your data to a bunch of other third-party companies um, that won't be allowed and so um, at any time if there is a company headquartered in California they make over 25 million dollars in annual revenue you can request from them uh, starting in 2020 uh, what data they have on you and you can see see that also you can request them if from them um, if you do not want them to have your data you have that power as well so um, thanks so much this is just your quick tip of the day every Tuesday uh, it's a free tip so if you know of anyone else that would like this tip uh, they can sign up at online at www.socialclubsimple.com or you can send us an email at um, social dub club simple at gmail.com as well. Thank you guys. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.